Hey everyone, how are you doing this morning? It's Marla, hopefully everyone is doing well. Today is my day to go see my esthetician. I love her. She is one of the best estheticians I've ever had and she's in Boulder. If you're in the Boulder, Denver area, I will leave her information down in my description box. But today is the day I am getting, for the first time, a skin pen treatment. If you're not familiar with a skin pen, Skin pen is basically micro needling, but micro needling at my esthetician's office. I used to do micro needling at home, did not feel very comfortable doing it at home, really didn't feel I was getting anything out of it. So I'm gonna go see my esthetician and see what the skin pen can do for my fine lines and wrinkles. Now it's also good for acne marks. I believe they also use it on stretch marks. The skin pen can be used anywhere on your body, pretty much arms legs, decolletage, abdomen. I mean, you can really use this everywhere. Some of the advantages of the skin pen for treating fine lines and wrinkles are number one. For some people, it's not Botox, which makes it a good choice. Some people don't like to use Botox, so it's good for targeting fine lines and wrinkles. It doesn't use any toxins. It's not a chemical, so it doesn't do any type of chemical burn on your face. You just have the skin pen, which has these little tiny sharp sharp needles and what they do is create tiny little holes in the skin and then your skin's response to those micro injuries that you have on your skin helps your body produce some collagen and elastin and that is what is supposed to heal those wounds and actually make your fine lines and wrinkles appear to look better. So it's a safe procedure. It's fairly comfortable but I'll let you know how I feel about it today. I have a pretty good pain tolerance so I don't think it's going to bother me. I know the IPL laser that I get from her doesn't bother me at all. From what I understand, it has pretty minimal side effects. You may just get a little redness or pink on the area where you've had the skin pen done. You may have a little bit of slight swelling. You know, it may look like you have a sunburn for a few days, but that's about it. And then I know that after the skin pen, they don't want you to use any ingredients on your skin. I think for 24 hours, but I'll find out today when I talk to my esthetician. Nothing that's gonna irritate your skin, obviously, because your skin is already irritated. I'm sure I'm not gonna be able to use any Retin-A maybe for 24 hours or so, but I'll let you know what she tells me today after I go see her. I think they do apply a little bit of a topical anesthetic to the skin to help with the pain and the microneedling. Not quite sure about that, but again, I'll let you know how that goes today. This is a procedure that is effective for all skin types. I think pretty much anybody can get a skin pen. I don't think there's a lot of restrictions as to who should or should not get this procedure done. From my understanding of it, as with anything, you probably need multiple sessions with the skin pen to really see markedly improved results. So this is my first time ever getting the skin pen and I'll let you see kind of the progress from today after I get it through the next week or so and let you know whether or not I feel like I'll be getting it again. I know I love my IPLs and I get one of those every year. Just have never tried a skin pen before. I know the skin pen can be used with Botox and fillers. I think they normally prefer that there is a separation of time from when you did have Botox and fillers. I think, you know, several weeks at least. Usually they prefer if you are going to get Botox and filler, they prefer you get the skin pen procedure done first. So I think that's it for the information on the skin pen, basically just micro needling, but micro needling not at home, at an esthetician's office. And I'm going to see how the micro needling procedure compares to when I did it at home. Off to my esthetician's office. I'll let you see what I look like after my appointment today. I will see you soon. Okay, so I am done with the skin pen procedure, and it was actually a lot different than I thought it was going to be. I thought, I guess she was just going to go over my skin, almost like you would with a derma roller kind of thing, but in pen form, just kind of press it with her hand in and out. No, that's not the way it was. I went there and the first thing she did was cleanse my face to make sure everything was off and it was all kind of sterile. And she might have also put just a little bit of alcohol on a wipe. And then she put this numbing cream on that was unbelievable. 
unbelievably numbing. It was like my face didn't exist anymore. <laughs> it was very potent numbing cream, which is great because then I really didn't mind the procedure at all. So she put the numbing cream all over my face. And then the skin pen is really a very interesting device. The area that has the little micro needles in it, she is able to adjust that up and down. She can adjust the depth on the pens. She can go deeper in your skin if she feels necessary or back off and go lighter, just depending on how your skin is reacting. The other thing that I absolutely loved about the skin pen is it gets those areas that really a lot of stuff doesn't reach. Now, when you go to get Botox, it's very unlikely they're going to Botox the lines around your mouth or get in here. I mean, that's almost impossible. With the skin pen, she can do that. So she went all along my lip line and got all those lines around my lip. She even went in here above my lid did that area, got way under here. You can see how far up she was able to get close to my eye area. And she did a fabulous job. I am so excited to see what my initial results are with it. I may need more treatments. I am curious to see after maybe five days or so how I heal and how I feel about the whole procedure. Right now I'm kind of really excited about it. Oh and the other thing I wanted to mention is the skin pen itself is electric. When she's going over your skin it is an actually electric device so it is very powerful powerful. It's not like you just derma rolling yourself. It really is a crazy device. It's almost hard to describe, but it is electric. So it's like putting these micro needles in your skin. Not what I expected at all, but I think I'm going to be really pleased with my results. Some of the things that she gave me for aftercare. Let me get those. She gave me a few things. She gave me this thermal spring water, and this is just mainly to spritz on my skin if it feels you know a little uncomfortable or tight after the procedure you can just mist your face with this spring water and I think I'm gonna do that right now Does feel good. Some of the other things, she doesn't want me for a few days to use any of my normal skincare routine and definitely no Retin-A right now. She gave me some instructions in here and there are three days post-treatment. She gave me a cleanser she wants me to use in the AM and PM. She gave me something called a phytocorrective gel that I'm gonna be using. I think that helps with redness. And she also gave me a hydrating booster that I use also in the AM and PM and that helps with additional moisture. No sunscreen or makeup for 24 hours post-treatment. And then after 24 hours, you can use some sunscreen. I think she also gave me to test out some of the Elta MD UV Daily Broad Spectrum SPF 40. I think this is tinted. I am excited. So I'll let you know how everything progresses over the next five days. But as you can see right now, it looks like I have a nasty sunburn. I think by tomorrow a lot of the redness will start to go away and it does feel very tight. This is something I would never in a million years do at home. No way would I ever attempt to do any type of micro needling at home. I just feel that an esthetician really knows what she's doing. She is hygienic. She's going to hopefully help me prevent getting any type of infections. Plus the skin pen is totally unlike a little derma roller. It's just, it, it's night and day. You can't even compare the two, what they can do. This is something I think I would do definitely again. I'd love to do maybe a series of these to see what it can do for fine lines and wrinkles and just kind of as an anti-aging procedure. That's it, I think, for today. I'll check in the next couple days, let you know how things are going. So far, I'm really excited to see what my results are going to be. 
Hey guys, this is just a quick check-in. This is what my skin looks like the next day. Not quite as angry as it was right out of my skin pen procedure. You can see it is starting to go down in redness and I'm starting to get a little bit of sloughing of skin. She said that is very normal. This is the day after my skin pen. Later this afternoon, which will be about 24 hours after the procedure, Procedure, I'll be able to wear my sunscreen or you could put any makeup on that you want. I will see you tomorrow for the next day check-in. Okay guys, another check-in. This is day, let me think, had my procedure done on Tuesday. Today is Thursday. Sort of almost two days after the procedure of the skin pen, you can see a lot of the redness has really gone down. The only thing I think I still see is some redness around my eye area up here, a little bit on the tip of my nose. Most of the redness around my lips has cleared up. I think that's really due to this little green. This is a photocorrective gel. It's supposed to really help with redness and I think it really has. What I do is I put this on in the morning and at night after I cleanse my face with the cleanser that my esthetician gave me. And this has really, I think, helped so much with the redness caused by the skin pen. You can see, really don't have much sloughing off of my skin. Most of that redness is gone. Definitely something that could be covered up with makeup. I would probably say if you were gonna get the skin pen done, if possible, have it done on a Friday or a Saturday because the actual day of your little red and she really doesn't want you to put anything on your skin other than the products that she gave you. At least my esthetician did not for about 24 hours. So I stayed out of the sun completely yesterday until I was able to put a little bit of sunscreen on. After that photocorrective gel, she gave me what's called a hydrating booster, which I put on after the gel and that really helped. I would say the only, I don't know if you'd even call it a side effect. I would just say that after the skin pen, the only thing I really noticed was my skin felt very tight. She gave me that hydrating spritzer and I used that so much. I would use that pretty much all day. Really helped with the tightness because your face will feel really tight, I think. At least mine did after the procedure. But you can see two days after the procedure, skin looks great. Hardly any discoloration left. Just a little bit around my eyes, but you could actually put makeup on now and you could cover this completely up. That's the check-in for today. I will check in with you probably three more days, total of I think five days. That was today's check-in. It's Friday and you can see most of the redness that was under my eyes is now gone. I would say the majority of the redness on my upper lip is gone. The only thing I'm left with is a little bit of skin sloughing off, but she told me that is to be expected. I feel like I had a major exfoliation. My skin does not feel as tight anymore and I'm really looking forward to doing this several times to see what my results will be. So I'll check in one more time tomorrow as the final final day of check-in after the skin pen. Today is Saturday. I had my skin pen procedure done on Tuesday. I would say majority of everything, all the redness is pretty much gone. Maybe just have a little bit of sloughing left, but my skin is starting to feel really soft feels really good. I am excited about this. It's a procedure that I would definitely do again. It was not invasive. It was not painful. And I think over time, the results are going to really pay off when it comes to reducing the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, especially around those areas that are really hard to treat, like under your eyes, on your lids, below your brow, all those little lip lines around your mouth. Those are areas that really bug me and are just so hard to deal with. I will leave the information for my esthetician if you are in the Boulder, Denver area. Her name is Carrie. She is out of Boulder Plastic Surgery and the plastic surgeon out there, Dr. Hartley, is absolutely amazing. I will leave all their information down in the description box. I hope you enjoyed seeing this little skin pen journey of mine. Take care. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye from Marla.